In the last lesson, I showed you how to build a real simple customer form, but it ain't very pretty. So in this lesson, we're going to show you how to format that form to make it look a little more attractive, a little more professional, and a little easier to use. Okay, we're at the database window. Let's open up our form. I'm going to double click on customer F. And here's our form. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little bland. The first thing I like to do is spice it up a little bit. Let's go into design view by clicking on the T-square. First, I hate that gray background color. It's just hard to work with. So let's change it. Take your mouse and click somewhere on the background. And notice right up here is a paint can. Now, in the paint can is a dark gray. And if I click on the paint can, I get a dark gray. That's even harder to work with. So I don't want the dark gray. So right next to the paint can is a little down arrow. Click on that down arrow, and it opens up a color palette. Let's pick that powder blue color. That, that looks good. All right, that's one thing. Now, the next thing is I got all this space over here that I'm not utilizing. All of my fields are going down here vertically. I'd like to get two columns going here. Also, I've got first name and then last name below it. I'd like to take the last name and slide it up over here so it's next to first name. So watch this. First, I'm going to come over here and delete this label that goes along with last name. So I've clicked on it to highlight it, and I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. And there we go. I deleted the last name label. But the text box is right here. He's fine. So I'm going to get the hand now and drag this text box up next to first name. Now, since I've done that, I should probably change this label over here, right? How do you change the text in a label? Well, you can change it to whatever you want. Here's how. Click on the label once to select it. Now, notice how my mouse pointer turns into an eye cursor. Just click again. It's not quite a double click. You have to click once to select it, and then click again a second time. And now I can come in here and change this to whatever I want. So let's backspace over this. And let's call this name, and then maybe in parentheses, first, comma, last, like that. And that should be enough information to give our user to indicate which field is which here. All right, let's click over here in right field. And let's see what that's going to look like now. Let me come over here and click on this Form View button again. And look at that. I got my customer ID, and it says Richard Ross, two separate fields. And I've changed my label accordingly. Again, you can put any text you want in this label. All right, we're on our way. Let's see what else we can do. Now, we've got some extra space here. So let's take company name and move it up. So I'm going to click and drag and slide company name up right there. Maybe I'll stick a space in it over here. Now, I told you not to put any spaces in the field name. But remember, this is just a text label. This is what the user is actually going to see on the screen, right on the form. So we can put whatever we want in here. Same thing with customer ID. We can put a space right there. And I'd like to make this company name field a little wider because company names can be pretty long sometimes. So how do I make a field wider? Well, watch this. Click on the box. Now, remember those little points that pop up here? These little boxes around the corners and edges? Well, move your mouse right over that one right there. And notice how your mouse turns into a two-way pointer. At this point, I'm going to click and drag. And that's how we resize the text boxes. And now if I were to go to Form View, you can see my room for the company name has increased. All right, let's save our form. Don't forget to save your form routinely. And go back to Design View. Let's slide phone number up. And again, we can probably put the fax number over here next to the phone number. So let's delete the fax number label. Click on it and hit delete on the keyboard. Slide the fax number over here. And let's edit our label. Click and then click again. Maybe phone slash fax like that. 
address. We can slide up and make the address bigger as well. All right, we got city, state, zip, and country. Now, I'd like to slide all four of these up at the same time. So how do I do that? Well, again, let's drag a box around them. Now, you don't quite have to go all the way around them. All you really have to do is just touch them with that box. So I'll just draw a box that touches those four fields, and there we go. See how they're all highlighted? Here, I'll do that again. Watch this. I'll click over here to deselect them. And I'll click and drag a box and just touch those four fields. And then move your mouse anywhere over the center of these guys. And notice you get the hand again. Got to have the hand. Click and drag them up. And there we go. That's how you can move a block of selected objects. Now let's click over here to deselect them. Now city, state, and zip, I could probably squeeze all those together on one line. So I'm going to delete the box for state and zip code. And let's take state and slide it up here next to city. And let's make it smaller by getting our double arrow right there. There we go. Again, since most of my customers are in the United States, this is not a problem. And even for the ones that are foreign, you can still stick longer words in these boxes, but you'll only see what you can see here in the box. But you can still store 20, 30, 40 characters of text in this field. Now, the city label needs to be changed, right? Let's click on that. City, state, zip. There we go. Let's slide country up. And we can make country wider. Now, notes is next. Let me grab notes. I want to put the notes field over here to the right. So let's drag him over here. And notice if you drag him too far, Access will automatically make your form wider for you. You can make the form wider yourself if you want to. All you have to do is click on the border right here and then drag it out, and that will make the form wider or more narrow. Now, for notes, there's a little trick that I like to do. Watch this. I want to take the label and put it up on top of the notes box. Watch this. I have them both selected. I'm going to take my mouse and move it over this dot in the upper left corner of the notes label, and notice I get the finger. Well, not the finger. I get a finger. And I'm going to click and drag, and look at that. When you have the finger, that will move the label and the text box independent of each other. See, so watch. Click. You can do it with the text box, too. And there we go. That's why this box in the upper left-hand corner is bigger than the rest of them. Now that I've got it lined up, let's slide it up here. And I'm going to make my notes box a little bit wider, maybe a little bit taller. And let's add some color to it as well. Watch this. Here's my notes box. Now my paint can has blue in it, so let's drop this down. And I'm going to pick this light yellow. Look at that. There we go. And let's also give it a background. Let's see here. What else can we do? Well, we've got special effects. We've got line border widths. We've got border colors. Hmm, there's all kinds of things we can pick from. Here's the font foreground color. If we click on that, we get red. Or we can drop this down and pick a different color, like blue. Let's go with a dark blue. Here's the border color. Now, if we drop this down, we've got transparent, which means you won't see the border. Or different colors like orange. That's kind of nasty. Or black. Here's the border thickness, the line border width. You can go with a real thick one or a real thin one. There's a thick one. Let's go back down to thin. And this guy over here, this is pretty neat. This is the special effects. Now, for notes, I like to do this special effect right here called shadowed. There's a bunch of them in here. There's raised and sunken. 
Sunken is what the rest of these text boxes look like. I'm going to pick this one right here. It says shadowed. And look at that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with that. Now my notes field looks like a little yellow piece of sticky paper. Right? It's starting to look good now. Now we've got a couple more fields down to the bottom that we need to drag up. So let's come down here and round up these little doggies. Draw a box around them like that. Get the hand and slide them up right here. Maybe we'll take this active checkbox, click and drag and hold it, and drag it over here just to save space. And now I can take the bottom of the form and drag it up like so. Conserve space on the bottom. And we can bring this side in just a little bit over here too. We'll leave some extra room right here because in the future classes, we're going to put some buttons down here to do some nifty stuff. All right, so let's save our form. Click the floppy disk. And again, you're not prompted for a name because we already have a name, customer F. And let's click here. And there we go. There's our customer form. And now you can see this is laid out a little better than it was before. It's a little easier on the eyes because of the nice colors we picked. And this is ultimately easier to work with. And not only do forms make the data more presentable, but they also give you a lot more power and a lot more control. When we get into programming in some of our future classes, you can see how you can do just about anything you can think of with visual basic programming right in your forms, using combo boxes and command buttons and all kinds of different controls that we're going to learn about in future classes. Go ahead and close your customer form, and now we're back to our database window. Now, if any of your users wants to add records, edit records, delete records, they can do it right from the customer form. Just double-click here to open the customer form. Here they go. They can come in here and make changes to things, right? Amicron Computing, for example. They can change cities and towns, they can add notes, they can move through the records, they can add new records, here's the add new button, right, put in here uh, Peter Smalls, they can delete records, how do you delete a record, well click on this big gray bar over here on the left, and then hit delete on the keyboard, you'll be prompted if you want to delete it, say yes, and there it goes. On second thought, you might not want to show that to some of your users, so be careful. And of course, it goes without saying, make sure you make a backup copy of your database file every night. So now you know all there is to know about basic form design. We'll do a lot more with forms in the next access class.